What's up everybody, Arden the Pirate here, and today we're gonna play a little Agni, and oh man, we're gonna play some Agni today, baby. <laughs> we're on fire this match. Now, let's go over his build real quick. I'm gonna start out with Mage's Blessing, Tiny Trinket, three healing potions, two mana potions. Now, Tiny Trinket is the rank one of Bancroft's talent, and I'm gonna build into that in a minute, but my final build's going to go for something like Shoes of the Magi, Bancroft's, Spear of Desolation, Soul Reaver, Divine Rune, Chronos Pendant, and then I've got Aegis and Blink Rune as well. Now before we get into the plays, we have to go over his kit. Combustion is his passive. After hitting four basic attacks, Agni will gain a buff on the next cast of Flame Wave or Rain of Fire. All enemies hit by those abilities will be additionally set ablaze, taking damage every 0.5 seconds for three seconds. Now I have learned a pretty cool trick. If you use your Puddle of Goo and they're burning, they will set that burn on fire. I tried to do it several times this match. I'm just terrible and I'm not able to, but Speaking of the pool of goop, we have his one, Noxious Fumes. Agni summons a cloud of fumes at the ground target location, dirt, doing damage every second. Firing any ability into the fumes detonate the gas, stunning all enemies in the radius, and it's a one second stun, which you got a caster with a stun, that's, that's always great. Next up we have Flame Wave, his two, Agni summons a wave of fire in front of him that scorches all enemies in its path, and of course, it ignites those fumes. Path of Flames is his three Agni dashes forward very quickly, leaving a trail of flames. Enemy enemies passing through those flames take burn damage every 0.5 seconds for two seconds, and you're immune to knockups during that, but just knockups, guys. And we actually see that here in a little bit, and of course, that ignites the flames as well. And lastly, we have his ultimate rain fire. Every 18 seconds, Agni gains a flaming halo that can be expended to summon a giant meteor that hits the ground at a target location. He can summon one every 0.8 seconds, igniting the flames as well. So, guys, his kit's all based around getting those stuns, which I'm, I'm absolutely terrible at, but you don't necessarily need it because he does tons of damage. Oh, man, Agni, he's, he's probably my favorite mid laner. He's so much fun to play. Uh, guys, definitely check him out, but... Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's get into this match. Now, I am going against a Scylla in this mid lane, so I have to be careful of that burst damage. But since I am so quick and I've got some stuns, we're going to do okay. And if you see there, we're able to put that puddle down, and then we hit her with that flame rush that stunned her for a second, allowed us to pick up red, and then we're going to rotate on her, and we actually take her out. Oh, man. Uh, just a few minutes into the match, guys, and we're already starting out strong. Shutting Scylla down is such a good idea because she's more of that late-game god. You know, it, you get level 10, you know, where everybody's got a couple of items already built. Her kit's going to hit like a truck, so you have to be definitely careful with that. Now, our nemesis is going on the oracles. I'm going to head over and help her out. I, you know, I, I definitely want to back after this, and so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and back, and then I see, hey, she's going to take out that side camp, so... Let's go help her do that as well. Uh, our, our nemesis is doing a great job. You know, we picked up both side camps. Uh, you know, she she's helped pick up the enemy red. We She's even dropped the enemy blue. Oh, she's all over the place. She's doing a great job, and that's really allowing me to succeed. Really, one thing I definitely have noticed, it might be different in Season 5 than it was in other seasons, but the a good jungler can make or break a team. So you really want a strong jungler, one that's very, very active, whether it's ganking or, you know, stealing that enemy camps, things like that. that that's what you want. Now, you can hit the entire wave with Agni's flame wave. If you get just slightly beside those melee minions, it will extend. But if you stand in front of those melee minions, you might not hit the range. I, I'm, I'm still getting used to Agni. So, you know, that even though he's one of my favorite gods, or mid laners anyways, I have not played with him all that much. And so I'm still getting used to that, but that's quite all right. Now that, that kill we got, that allowed us to back we end up picking up boots and grabbing a, more, a couple more consumables. You can see, guys, I'm burning through mana. So you might want to consider picking up a stacking item or something like something like Warlock Staff. That could be a very good item for him. But I'm, I, I was really kind of worried. Since I am going against a Scylla, I was thinking she's going to just shove me out of lane so much that it's going to be very difficult for me to get stacks. And so I said, you know what? Uh, let, let's just go pin, lifesteal, things like that. And... Uh, 
That's kind of what I'm going for. Now, I go ahead and ult that wave. You don't have to be too worried about Agni's ults, guys. Uh, they come back every 18 seconds, and, and so you can ult waves. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just clear that wave. That allows you to rotate, pick up other items, or, you know, pick up buffs, things like that. Uh, great. I... I, I can't say enough about Agni. He's so much fun, guys. You definitely need to check him out if you're into the mid lane or wanting to get into the mid lane. He's probably one of the easier mid lanes I've tried. Now, from here, we're again, we're just going to keep shoving this lane. We want to keep getting farm. You know, it, it, it's a little bit early to start rotating, things like that. Just continue to farm. Pick up those side camps whenever you can. You can see Nemesis is coming in. So I'm thinking, hey, she might go for gank. That's why I kind of turn. But it looks like she's going to head over here. Let's just go ahead and slowly pick this up. That way she shows up. Make sure she gets all the experience from it. You know, sharing experience with junglers is always great. And we're going to just continue to shove this lane. Geb has rotated over to mid to kind of help out in mid. <laughs> and then Sir Ket actually heads over as well. We're going to go ahead and dash out of that. You know, just stay safe. We did take some damage there but no problem both of them are half health and i'm half health as well but since Scylla just used her wave clear we might be able to engage on this but you know let, let's just stay safe and just clean up this wave you know again keeping an eye on when Scylla uses that little blow up whatever thing it is you want to be careful of that because she can't hit you now she ended up going into her ult, so we're going to get out of here. And guys, look at this. Oh, outplayed. Get outplayed. Oh, man, it feels so good. Taking out that Scylla. <laughs> we're able to take her out. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> and head back to mid. We're going to clean this lane up, and then we're going to go ahead and back to base. Oh, oh I'm, I'm happy about that one, guys. <laughs> Now, once I get back from base and, you know, health up, everything like that, I'm actually going to head to our duo lane. You know, our our elephant stayed in that lane, so we gotta head over there and help him out. And while the ADC shows up, we're able to get a stun on this Apollo. And I missed that third ult. I don't, I don't know where I was aiming right there. But we're gonna go ahead and chase down this Apollo. And you can see here, guys, I've got boots and he does it. This is the power of boots. I'm gonna be able to catch up to him and take him out. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Three kills, and we've been Im involved in all of them so far. Oh, we're doing good, guys. Scylla is going in on my mid lane, so we definitely need to head over there. She's able to back out. I tried to get that gas cloud on her, but we're not quite able to do it. She avoids all of that. Oh, feels bad, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and just kind of keep some poke up, you know, clear out that wave. We really want to concentrate on the wave. We're not going to go in on her necessarily, but if we can poke her with that ult, that's what we want to do. And again, here we're, we're just kind of looking for farm. Let, let's go maybe pick up red, pick up that side camp. I see my ADC and, and my guardian are heading over to that red camp, so I'm just going to leave that, guys. Let, let them take it. There's no sense in splitting that farm three ways either. And, you know, I know my ADC wants it. I don't need it right now since I am getting pretty fed. So, again, let them have it. Uh, and that will help him out more than it would help me out at this point. I'm going to go ahead and clean that wave up. And, again, we're just kind of looking for things to do. Just hang out. You know, I don't need to back to base. But if we can make something happen, let's try. Now we do get some poke on Scylla right there. Oh, oh, we're doing awesome, man. We're avoiding them bombs that she's throwing down. Getting some great poke on her. We're able to poke her down again. And we end up holding her and taking her out. Oh, <laughs> no, man. This is so, uh, Agni is so much fun, guys. Y'all need to play him. Now, since I just took her down, I'm going to go ahead and back. You know, now's a good time to back. It'll let me get into lane, you know, about the time she gets into lane, you know, so we're, neither one of us are getting ahead on farm, and it allowed me to, you know, kind of upgrade a little bit. Now, Nemesis get, does get kind of caught out there, and I back off, but I'm not leaving. I'm going to make sure we take out that Geb. Sure enough, we're able to delete him. Sir Ket's here. Let's, let's take her out. <laughs> we end up taking some cat out. Oh, man. Getting a nice double kill right there. Scylla is here. So, you know, hey, let's make it a triple, guys. <laughs> We're able to put down that fume cloud. We end up getting that stun, and that burn was able to take her out. Awesome. Get a great triple kill right there. And, hey, we're, we should be able to shove into tower. Now, Nemesis ended up peeling off and going for that side camp. It would have been nice if she would have stuck around to help me down this tower. But, really, guys, mages aren't very good at downing towers. You know, our basics just don't hit very hard. And so, when you can get some poke, do it. 
But as soon as you see someone show up, get out in your salt. We, Geb showed up. Let's get out. Now, Ganesh heads over, so let, let's go in on to Geb. And sure enough, we're able to get just a ton of damage off. And we end up taking him out there. Awesome. You know, Geb did use his ult there. And, you know, that he ended up... I, I want to say he ended up getting it, but due to his passive where he can't get kills we end up getting that kill as well oh. <laughs> eight oh and one guys we're stomping it right now oh man it, it just having an absolute blast but again Scylla is getting more and more fed so we have to be careful she's definitely going to start hurting and you can see picking up those side camps and just with the amount of kills that we've had we've got a pretty significant level advantage which is really good for us this is going to allow us to just completely bully her you know we we can just completely run her out of lane just due to the amount of levels we have you know our abilities hit much harder our day you know I i've got great farms so my items are much stronger just everything like that and that's exactly what you want as the mid lane it, it's it's all about who can get the farm the fastest and right now we're the ones doing it now the enemy team ended up picking up the gold fury there which you know that that, that kind of surprised me but it's no problem at all we've got a ton of poke on this Scylla and it she's going to end up having to back we might be able to actually pick up this tower at this point since, you know, we, we are getting later into this game. So, you know, we should be able to shove into a tower, get some good poke on it. As long as we can get some vision on the enemies, all we see right now is Apollo. Then we see Geb pop up. So, hey, let, let's go ahead and go in on this tower. You know, we, we should be okay. Still is still coming back into lane. And then I see the Circuit actually heads over to that nemesis. We want to make sure we head over there and help her out. But, you know, we're just helping her get out of this situation. We don't want to engage on that. You know, there's a huge enemy collapse. Let's just retreat, get out of there as safe as possible. And we're going to uh, continue to, you know, support her. But again, we want to get out. You can see I'm using that knock the, the, the fumes. I'm using my fumes to kind of zone that area out. That way, if they do come in, I can hit it with some flames and boom, you know, stun everybody. Give us a good chance to get out. I see Sir Kett kind of jump towards us. We just back up. We're not even going to waste our run on that. And then Nemesis ends up going in. We might be able to make something happen here. I'm going to try to focus onto that Scylla, but, you know, hey, the Sir Kett is much easier of a target right now. So let's go in on that. Nemesis is just chasing her down. But, you know, I'm thinking, hey, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and back off. You know, I, I don't know where the enemy team is. We don't have any vision. And let, let, let's just get out of that. Maybe we can make something happen later. You know, get back, get healthy, you know, pick up a new item, all that kind of good stuff. Now, again, when we get back into lane, we're actually going to head over to our duo lane. Our ADC's over there by himself, so let's head over and help them out. And we end up getting a stun on this Gib. Let's just focus on Gib. You know, let, let, let's take Gib out. Gosh, we hurt. We hurt bad. <laughs> and sure enough, we end up just absolutely deleting Geb there. And, and oh man, we, we've just, we're, we've done such a great job of farming. And since we've never died, you know, we, we've stayed pretty much in the farm the entire match. And it, it, this is great. From here, I'm going to head over to our duo, or our solo lane. You know, we, we've got a huge enemy or a huge team presence over here. We should be able to take this tower just effortlessly. You know, we should be able to get this tower down very, very quickly. And that, that that's great. That's exactly what we want to do. And with four of us over here, again, it, this will be easy peasy. Now, we end up wanting to clear the wave out first. I do take a couple of tower shots, but that that's really not that big of a deal. Sir Ket shows up and we're able to Aegis that and... <laughs> She doesn't stand a chance, bitch. She doesn't stand a chance at all. And we're able to take her out and then take out this D2. Oh, man. But that that, that was just, you know... It, now, if you are in that situation where you're that Sir Kett, you might be able to jump in and get a kill. You know, uh, it, it's possible you could do that, but you're most likely going to die doing it. And, you know, sacrificing yourself to get a, to get a single kill is probably never almost worth it. You know, if you were able to save that T2, it might be worth it. But at this point, since my team has done a very good job of farming, you know, it, it that's a very, very bad situation to come in. So, if you're that Sir Cat, or if you're ever in that situation, it's much better to just back off, go to the other side of the T2, and, you know, counter-push, basically. 
Now I've got quite a bit of gold, so I'm gonna just go ahead and back and, you know, put some more items on. We, we don't have a whole lot of vision on the team. We're able to pick up that Pyromancer, so, you know, I'm gonna be able to get back in the lane very, very quickly. And, hey, no problem. Now Garnesh is going in on to this Geb. Let, let's go follow that up. And it looks like Geb is heading over to our solo lane. So, let's head over. And now it's a 3v2 fight instead of a 2v1 fight. And... We're gonna just focus onto this Geb. You know, let, let, let's take Geb out. Let's get him out. Now, you see there, I used my dash, but that Geb ult ended up stunning me. So again, guys, you're immune to knockups, but not just regular stuns. And I'm in very big trouble now. You know, I, my, my team has peeled off, so I'm in I'm in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> I got to get out. Silla shows up, and we narrowly escape that bomb. Oh man. <laughs> that that would have definitely been the death of us. But we're going to go ahead and back up, and we're able to get out of this situation. You know, great play. That, 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 there was a great effort on my team, and since we all survived and ended up taking one of them out, that that's always great. Now, once I spawn back in, I see our nemesis is getting very low, and Sir Ket's there. We want to get there as quickly as possible. We did pick up Blink, so let's go ahead and Blink and just keep rushing that way. You know, we want to get there as quickly as possible because if that nemesis goes down, you know, that that that's a big, big thing. We're able to head over there, and my team collapses and ends up taking that circuit out, and they end up surrendering right there. You know, oh, oh man, this, this was... the. We we uh, we did kind of dominate this match, but it was it was definitely fun. And Agni is just such a blast to play. Just very very quick, fun. You always spam an ability. A uh, ton of fun, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this Agni guide. I really hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, show me some love. Leave me a comment. Think about subscribing. Add me on Smite, guys. I'd love to play with y'all. And we also have our clan, TSDC, Scurvy, Dog Crew. Love to see some of y'all in it. Well, again, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.